Hello and welcome everyone. So in this video, we are going to see showdown live hunting on Kibana. So we are going to find instances where Kibana is running and if we are able to see sensitive information into that or logs, then that particular vulnerability will fall under a P1 category of bug. So what are we going to achieve using Kibana hunting sensitive information and logs which we can directly report to the particular organization or the target company and the severity of this bug goes under a P1 category or a P2 category of bug. All right. So it is the practical time and let's see how we can do this. If you just search for Kibana on Google, you will get to know what actually the definition of Kibana is. It is an open source data visualization dashboard for elastic search. So basically it gives a beautiful visualization of all the logs that have been collected into your particular organization. Now the visual representation be in the form of uh, scatter plots, pie charts or map of large volume of data. It can be anything. Okay. All right. So this was Kibana. Now let me just show you a report. Many security researchers ha have this technique and are being continuously using Kibana to identify log servers. Okay and report it. So as you can see over here, I have a report showdown to bug bounty hunting unauthenticated Kibana log server. So as you can see here, the researcher just searched for this particular particular query, which was Kibana with content length 217. We are going to discuss why, why this specific query. So to sum up this particular report, the a researcher got access to many of the Kibana log servers, which were unauthenticated. He reported the bug. The bug severity was high and it was quickly acknowledged and he got a, he has written, he got a jackpot and he reported them with a good statement and he even got a bounty for that. On the same day, another company Kibana, Kibana server was opened and this was reported to Buck Crowd as you can see and the bounty was for $300. Although the particular program which was found was out of scope, but the Buck Crowd team messaged while the submission is out of scope, it is a great find and we appreciate your time and efforts. All right. So now let us see how we can do our live exploitation and hunting to find out unauthenticated Kibana log server instances. So we'll just go to Shodan and we are going to search the same search filter. As you can see, Kibana stands for the search results wherein we should match the keyword Kibana. Okay. So we are going to filter the results based on only the Kibana based instances. And then the content length 217 is basically the content length of a default Kibana page. Okay. So whenever you open up default Kibana page in the response of the particular request, the length which comes is 217. So we are basically filtering our outputs based on the content length. Okay. This, the search results may change if you change the content length as well. All right, now we have got a couple of results and let us see one by one, whatever sensitive information do we get or do we get some of the unauthenticated Kibana servers? So let me just open up the first IP, which is 212 Okay, let me just click on that. Okay, once it is opening, I have other Kibana instances as well, where you can see on this particular IP address. I am able to see all the logs that have been happened. So you can see the current date and it is updated by 30 seconds of time interval. Okay. And these are the logs that have been created for this particular organization, whatever is happening. This is the latest log as I'm recording this video on July 14, 2020 to 49. It is so this will get automatically updated. This is the latest log. So you are able to see whatever activities have been happening into the particular server. Everything has been captured over here in the form of logs, as you can see over here. 
let's go to another instance this one and here also you can see the logs which are the current updated logs so this servers are actually the servers which are being utilized currently and the logs are being generated okay so these are not outdated or old servers and uh, these are being used and current logs have been generated which means the server are being used in some type okay so if i just click on lock trail over here then you will be able to see all the lock trails over here okay and i have filtered the results based on the keyword access now you can see over here so oldest event reached see just over here july 8 the particular docker compose gateway docker is running on this particular port and you can see the access urls is this particular internal url local and this is the external url from this particular docker instance was being accessed okay so this is all the logs for the docker instance as we have searched for the keyword that is access let me just search for the keyword that is user and let's see if we get some information oh all right so our keyword matched the user agent as you can see all the user agent has been matched one important thing to notice over here is gateway docker compose gateway for this particular instance the information you can see logging out the user t y h e r dot ryan jacobs at the rate ndes.net okay so we are able to see the username of the particular user which operates the particular docker or the credentials which are being used to log in into that particular docker instance all right so we have got couple of more servers which have open unauthenticated servers as we can see over here as well we are getting the live logs the latest logs and you can see the status code is 200 for the particular request the method request is get the timestamp the x forwarded ip from where the request is coming okay this is the intel mac os macintosh uh, user agent okay so we are able to see all the current logs that are been coming to that particular server all right so this is one more instance which has been open over here you can see the particular status uh, of the server which is running the kibana as you can see uh, over here uh, plugin consoles are ready elastic search no living connection so basically the live monitoring is not been happening over here okay so you are able to see what actually the stats are there of the installed kibana server over here as well you can see the logs that are being received recently the application that is running on this particular port as you can see over here we can always filter based on the sensitive keywords like api key or username password credentials ssh login like those and you may end up finding a lot of sensitive information i would recommend if you come across any unauthenticated kibana instance where you can see everything the logs are coming i've i will recommend just take a screenshot or record a poc and report to them just do not try to fiddle with the logs or do not try to add a filter or delete everything just go in options and try on deleting the filters okay just do not do that okay that will actually break something over there and which will be not good for the program as well okay as you can see the basic license is active for this particular kibana instance which is running on this particular ip address we have got more as such unauthenticated instances as you can see over here and we are getting the live logs over here all right so this was it for kibana i hope you guys understood how you can find unauthenticated kibana servers wherein the live real-time logging and monitoring is ha is happening you can search the filters you can add something delete something and you can find a lot of juicy information internal endpoints and search filters from which you can search for ssh for login username passwords and information like that okay but I will recommend not to search or do advanced search queries into that. Just report whatever you have got. This is 
actually enough to prove the severity that you are able to access the internal logs which will directly mark your vulnerability as a p1 vulnerability and you will you will be rewarded accordingly so i hope you guys understood this video thank you